Hey Crossword fans, today we're going to be solving the New Yorker crossword for Friday, March 12th, 2021. Alright, let's get started. One across low blow. I think another word for low blow would be a cheap shot. Yeah, something below the belt. Coniferous trees often used to make chests. Hmm, coniferous. They're not pines. It must be a specific kind of wood. Big name in casinos. Um, isn't there a casino called Hera? Hera's? I think that's right. I've never actually been to Las Vegas. Norse explorer Leif? That's Leif Erikson? I think it's spelled with a K. Let's just double check that here. Site of a legendary couple's cruise. Yeah, that'd be the Ark, right? Boy, that is so similar to... Um, they had a clue for the Ark on the Thursday New York Times puzzle. Yeah, it's a very similar clue. They had a, a wordplay clue for the Ark also. Off-roading ride for short. That'll be an ATV. That was close. Yeah, when you have the quotes like this, you're looking for an equivalent phrase, so that'll be few. A sound of relief. Oh, and I forgot to mention when we were solving this, this question mark here indicates a wordplay clue. So that's why it's the arc. It's kind of a pun on couples. It's not like a modern day couples cruise. It wouldn't be like, you know, carnival or princess or something. It's going to be some kind of wordplay, and that's why it's arc. Comic blank. It's not comic sans. Hmm. Budget boarding option. Isn't that standby? Is there another boarding option? I'm thinking of air airplanes. Maybe it's not airplanes, though. Smallest bill in the till. The till is the drawer with the money in it and a cash register, so that'll be a one. Ideas worth spreading lectures. Those are TED Talks. Yeah. Raw umber or burnt sienna EG. Those are both kind of brownie colors, right? So maybe earth tone? Anti-collision course? Yeah, here's another wordplay clue. And I guess an anti-collision course on its face would mean like you're averting something. It's it's like you're changing course to avert a collision. But because it's wordplay, we have to think of another meaning. And so maybe a class that you could take to learn how to avoid collisions would be driver's ed. Yeah, it's pretty tricky. Okay, this is looking like cedars, right? I've definitely heard of cedar wood being in chests. It smells really nice. Okay. Lacking forethought can be rash. If you do something rashly, you don't think about it. Sandals and sneakers are just different types of shoes. Yeah, sometimes you just need to put in the most generic thing you can think of. Tantrums could be snits. A snit is a little bit of a hissy fit. Safe kind of job. Another wordplay clue. I'm liking all this nice wordplay on this late week puzzle. Safe kind of job. So it's not like a secure job, which is what you'd think of if this was just a regular clue. But it's going to be a job that involves an actual safe that you would lock something in. So maybe a job as in like stealing, like a criminal job. So it could be a heist. Envelope sticker could be a stamp. Yeah. Selection at a sushi bar. Hmm. Maybe sake? There's usually sake at sushi bars. Units of yarn? Yeah, that's a skein. And because it's asking for units plural, you have to have the answer be plural also. So it's skeins. It's just that like kind of bundle of yarn that you get when you buy yarn. You get it in this kind of wrapped up neatly little bundle and that's called a skein. 
Okay, actor Giancarlo of Better Call Saul. Isn't, that, isn't his name Esposito? I'm pretty sure that's right. Um, uh, yeah, because he was on Breaking Bad, right? And he's also on The Mandalorian. He's always seemed, seems to play bad guys. I guess he has that kind of countenance. Okay, dumpster fire, as it were. I guess a hot mess. That's great. That's a cute clue. Because a dumpster fire literally would be a hot mess. Literally and figuratively. Strike a chord. Hmm. It's not harmonize. High fiber muffin material. Maybe oat bran? Bran has a lot of fiber in it because it's kind of the outer shell of a, um, a grain. That's just got tons and tons of fiber. Start of certain addresses. Maybe email addresses or more likely uh, web addresses. Yeah, so maybe that's HTTP. Bewigged singer of chandelier. Bewigged. Hmm. I've never seen chandelier. Hmm. Wags a finger at, say. Maybe shames? If somebody's wagging their finger at you, they want you to feel shame. Is it Sia? Oh, I bet it is. Yeah. I think she usually wears a lot of colorful wigs, right? She's a, a pop star, I think. Um, I think she's from Australia, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, strike a chord, hit something. I like the start there. I'm in heaven. <laughs> I think this is ah bliss. It's another equivalent phrase, right? It means about the same thing there. Parables point. A parable usually has a moral at the end of it like the tortoise and the hare. Okay, certain office communique. I guess it's just an email. Yeah, I feel like email's getting phased out in uh, in place of like Slack or stuff like that. I don't use email at work too much anymore. Okay, strike a chord could be hit home. Pattern for many a flannel shirt. I think that's gonna be plaid. And then transmit is send. Yeah, that looks good. And then I don't think we looked at this one either. Not feeling 100% is ill. Yes. Okay. Applied using a pastry bag. Yeah, that's piped, right? If you're doing like cake decorating or something, you're piping frosting on. Got it. Another equivalent phrase. Um, I would want it to be like no prob or no sweat or something. Segment of a tennis match is going to be a set, like game set match. Got it. Hmm, I still don't know what that's going to be. Vamoose, that means to like skedaddle, right? It's going to be leaving somehow. This is just too much. Another equivalent phrase. Could it be, I can't go on, maybe? That seems like a pretty good equivalent phrase there back to back to back titles so that's three in a row uh, is it going to start with triple something hmm gets the better of intellectually maybe out thinks that could be and then is this going to be a wine thing a french wine no St nobel prize winner stephen who served as secretary of energy under obama hmm it's maybe chew let's take out triple maybe it's three peat yeah i like that i think i've heard that in relation to sports so um stephen chew sounds vaguely familiar and then, what is this gonna be? Hmm. Great blank. 
I'm not sure about that one. This should be stem cell therapy, right? So maybe it's not out thinks. Probably does still begin with out though. So let's put in stem org charged with enforcing this toxic substances control act. And there's an abbreviation in this clue. So that means the answer will be abbreviated. And I guess maybe this is wrong too, because I think this should be EPA, the Environmental Protection Agency. So maybe this is, I can't even. That's, that's nice. That's a nice sort of contemporary phrase there. And then this is maybe outsmarts. Yeah, okay. Great blank is now Great Danes. Yeah, that helped us see the dog there. Blank de do dance for two. I think that's pa de do. Is that right? Yeah, because I think one of the there's a a song in the movie Us, which I really love, and I think it's pa de do, and it's a uh, sort of plays when there's two characters that are fighting with each other. That's the only reason I kind of recognize that phrase. Okay, Vamoose looks like it's gonna be depart. And then got it is noted. Yeah, okay, good. Go too long. I think that's run over, like a meeting could run over. Greet warmly in a way. Hmm. Surgical tubes are gonna be stents. That's kind of what you put in if you have cholesterol issues and they kind of have to physically widen your arteries with it's a like a little balloon thing yeah okay cheer for atletico madrid that is ole that's like the spanish cheer make mittens maybe could be knit yeah so what is this gonna be greet warmly could be smile at yeah and then Percussion instruments are going to be drums. Pictures seen in still lifes. Oh, this is a tricky one. This is this is kind of crosswordy language. There's a word for a pitcher, like a pitcher that you pour water with, and it's ewer, e w e r, ewers. Yeah, I've never seen this really in life outside of crosswords, but it does crop up now and again just because of how valuable these letters are to constructing. They're just very common letters. So this is gonna be a word you'll see every now and again. Be close to, hmm. This WD actually looks a little bit weird. Dance to bounce music, perhaps. <laughs> I guess that could be twerk. There's a lot of good contemporary stuff on this puzzle. Wintry weather will be snow, I think. Hmm. Be close to could be crowd, like if you're crowding in on someone. Ooh, that's tricky. This is a very tricky crossing here. Ewers crossing crowd. This is a very unusual word. And then this is a almost a wordplay clue. Maybe not quite, but it's it's right on the edge. Yeah, it's not the first thing I would think of. Being close to, I would think, would be um, like loving or kind of in a sort of an emotional sense, not in the physical sense of like literally being right on top of someone. Hmm, that's hard. Okay, got around could be skirted. Seinfeld character whose dancing is described by George as a full body dry heave set to music. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, I remember this episode. This was Elaine and her crazy dancing. Yeah, that was a funny show back in the day. Okay, fragrant purple flower is gonna be a lilac. Yeah, that's the flower of my hometown, Rochester, New York. They have the lilac festival there every May. It's a very good time. If you're ever in town, you should check out the lilac festival. All right, part of a 29 across. So this is a cross clue. So when they're doing something like this, you kind of have to read the answer of this 
clue into this other clue. So, so you can read it as part of a lilac. So part of a lilac would be a petal. And then what do we have in the down here? Tis in my memory locked, and you yourself shall keep the key, Ophelia. Hmm. Okay, I guess that's a quote from Hamlet. Budget boarding option is a hostel, yeah. That's a cheap hotel. Usually for traveling teenagers or at least young adults. All right, comic blank. I guess it's comic strip. I didn't know why I didn't see that right away. That's pretty pretty uh, rudimentary there. Ability to amuse, wit. Yeah, if you're witty, you can amuse people. Make the rounds. Hmm. This is another wordplay clue, and I think the pun is gonna be in this word rounds here somehow. It's rounds, so on its face, making the rounds means um, kind of like patrolling, like if you're like a security guard, you would make the rounds. But rounds can also mean a lot of different things. So it could be rounds as in ammunition for like a gun. It could also be rounds as in a round of drinks. So I think that's what we're going to be dealing with here. I think it's going to be tend bar because you're making rounds of drinks for people. That's a very clever clue. It's really good. Um, yeah, that's a perfect example of um, the type of wordplay clues. They usually end up in um, harder puzzles, but you do see them on these um, lightly challenging puzzles too. Okay, if took first place could be one. 2008 Pixar film about a trash compacting robot. That's Wally. -E. Mm hmm. Tended to as a squeaky hinge, I guess it would be oiled. Or like maybe a squeaky tin man. Sudden attacks. Could be raids. Yeah. All right. Tell me more. Another equivalent phrase. Um, what's another way to say all right? Tell me more. It looks like it's starting with aisle or maybe all. Hmm. I would think it might be something like I'm all ears or something. Hmm. Scrubbed, I guess could just be cleaned. Sometimes you just need to put in the most generic equivalent answer you can think of. Actress Tippy, who is Dakota Johnson's grandmother. Tippy. I don't know who D Dakota Johnson is either. Hmm. Trigonometric term for the Latin word for curve. I don't know this, but it's looking like it's going to be sine, right? I mean, they're talking about trigonometry, so it could be sine, cosine, or tangent. Yeah. Number associated with perfection. It's usually 10 on a scale of 1 to 10. So maybe it's I'll bite. Yeah, that's good. And then like heavy desserts, I guess would be rich. And then that would give us Tippy Hedren. Okay, I think maybe I've heard that name before. I don't know anything about her, but maybe the goose can uh, give us a little bit of info about Tippy Hedren. Yeah. Okay, she must be an older, if she's somebody's grandmother, she must be um, a little bit of a, maybe a golden age Hollywood person, something like that. Okay, here we go. Let's put in the H and see if we got the puzzle finished here. Nice, okay. 19 minutes and 33 seconds. Yeah, that's good. I think that's about our uh, average time. I think um, I tend to not do much uh, shorter than that, just based on, you know, going over our solving strategies and stuff like that. So I think that's a good time for a lightly challenging New Yorker puzzle. Ever since I died, I don't care as much about the crossword. I just can't believe this. And then the featured answer is Elaine. Yeah. Yeah. She had a very memorable dance routine in that episode. It was hilarious. All right. Yeah. I think this was a really great, lightly challenging puzzle. They had uh, a couple of really nice wordplay answers in here, like 10 bar. Um, they had some good colloquial stuff, like I can't even um, twerk. Yeah, I mean, it's not, not contemporary anymore, but it's, you know, within the last 10 years or so. So, yeah, 
I really liked this one a lot. This is great. I hope you enjoyed solving this lately challenging New Yorker puzzle with me. I hope you learned some good solving strategies. And I'm going to be coming back at you for the early week New Yorker puzzle next week on Monday. And that is going to be a lot more challenging. So if you're in for a challenge, tune in for the Monday New Yorker puzzle next week. All right, that's going to do it for now. I'll see you next time.